did we make it? We made it. It's live. It's the year 2020, and every video becomes a time capsule, All right? So how did you spend your time during the 2020 COVID pandemic? I wonder. You can put that in the comments. Hey, Tamara, good morning. I'm looking at my light. The clouds are going in and out. We're going to have a good workout this morning. Absolutely. Good workout. Hey, Karen. So glad you're here. Let's get this week started. Yes, I can't believe it. June 15. This is co-video 36. I, hope, I think I did that right on the description, but I can always change that. And it is an upper body. And we are just kind of letting people come in here. And we are going to warm up our upper body, which is the, with the cans. But before we do that, let's just uh, jog in place for a second and say hi. So if you're by yourself in your home, you can go, hi. Hi, home. How are you? How are you? If you have someone in your home, you can say, hey, someone. I love you. If it's just you, you can go, I love me. I love me. I'm taking care of me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take care of me. Hey, Sally, what's up? We're just kind of jogging in place, or you can be marching in place. Got to get that blood flowing. I don't know about you, but that was a long three-day weekend we just had. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. I did some webinars, doing some writing. Ah, oh, yes. Gardens planted. It rained. I'll keep you posted on how the garden's growing. All right, so we're just marching in place. Let's swing our arms back and forth. And this is a chest and tricep workout. Depending on our timing, we might add a little more. But a lot of people ask me about arms and keeping your arms in shape. And really the key, honestly, people notice when you start doing push-ups. Even if push-ups are the countertop push-ups, so keep that in mind today. Because we do start with push-ups. I need you to be thinking, am I going to do them on the countertop? Am I going to do them on the ground? Am I going to do it on, um, uh, you know, like the my TV stands, the right countertop height, and it's pretty solid. If I wanted to do them, I could. Am I going to do them uh, modified on the ground? Which, you know, I prefer you kind of modify by hand positioning. But sometimes modified on the ground is the best place to do it. And today is probably one of those days because of the combination we're doing. So modified will be fine as well. So let's go ahead and warm up our shoulders. Um, oh, I'm still, you know, we're still in a pandemic situation where a lot of people have not been out and about. And there is a shortage, I've heard, of trying to get weights. You may have friends with weights that are gathering dust. Say, hey, can I have your dusty weights? Leave them on my front porch. Um, but this warm up, even if you have weights, one pound, two pound, three pounds, please don't go heavier than three pounds. So we're going to hold, I'm holding two cans and I did have fava beans last night for dinner. I, uh, sauteed them. Here, let's go ahead and do the presses. I sauteed them with olive oil, butter, a little butter and garlic powder and a little sea salt with mushrooms. And that was my entree with a nice green salad. That was dinner, and it was good, and there was plenty. Whole can, one person, that's right. You need plenty of food to feel healthy and strong. Hey, what's up, Pam? Let's do this thing. So we're doing these presses. Don't, you know, if you were doing it on your own or without me talking to you, you would do 10. Now we're gonna come up, pull those arms up, let them drop behind you. Yes. Let me drop behind you. This is a tricep extension. And we're just warming up our elbows and primarily our rotator cuff mechanism in the shoulder. Now you're going to come down. I'm so glad y'all are here with me. I, I am so glad I, I'm doing these because I've, I've got to work out. I've got to work out. You've got to work out. We've got to take good, loving, sweet, tough love, tender love care of ourselves. We've got to do both of those things. When we're upset and too much is going on, we want to be tender, we want to be kind, but sometimes the best thing to do is a tough, get breathless, lose your breath workout. So if you noticed, I went from my bicep, twisting bicep curl, right, to pouring out on the shoulders, like this. 
So I'm lifting that elbow. Now some of you might feel a little tenderness in your shoulders when you do that. Hopefully if you've been hanging out with me that's resolving or feels better or hopefully definitely should not get worse. Stick your chest out real hard. See, that? See this is me kind of slack. I'm standing tall and I'm purposely pushing my chest out as I do this shoulder warm up. And that is one hint that I've used, one tip to be able to do a lot more working out without my shoulder bothering me or minimizing that trouble, aches and pains. Okay, so we're pouring out, turning it right here, I'm slowing it down, slow it down. Okay, now both together. And this is your opportunity. What's bothering you? What's troubling you? What's standing in your way? Pour it out right now. Pour it out on the ground. Yep, just pour it out right there. Whenever you do this, this is like a, a ceremony, you know. We're going to pour out what's in front of us that is stopping us. Or it could be the past. could be behind us. And it's still holding on to us. And what you can pour it out right now. Just pour it out on the ground, right? And you get it out of your way so that you can have a great day. And take loving good care of yourself. This is the start of a journey where you take loving. Your health becomes your priority, period. No discussion, not up for debate. It's my number one priority. All right, so we're pouring out all those obstacles to making health your number one priority and celebrating your healthier, happier self. Yes, pour it out and celebrate. Big arm sweep, big sun breath, some people say. Pour it out, take in air. Ah, pour it out again, right? We're clearing the path to happier, healthier me, yes. Yes, while warming up the rotator cuff so we do not injure our rotator cuffs. Yes, there you go. Do that again. Mm, do that again. And now we're going to go to a more strict rotator cuff movement. You can see my arms are parallel to the ground like this. And we're going to go back and forth like that. Just a nice, gentle movement. This may burn, that's okay. Burning's good, sharp pain is not, tingling buzzing is not. Nice stabbing pain, please stop what you're doing and seek the advice of a medical professional. Yeah, we don't want that, okay? Keep breathing, don't hold your breath at any point. Right, unless you're underwater, do hold your breath, yep. Here we go, keep going. A little more, a little more, should burn a little bit. And stop, good job, good job. All right. That's very good. Our arms are warmed up. We're going to do just a few calisthenics to get the rest of our body warm. You can either do a step jack, right? That's a step jack or a jumping jack, but you jump out, jump back to that attention. I was a veteran, so this is a 10 hook, right? Okay. 10 jumping jacks. Ready to go. Four step jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, right, arms are up, and you want to kick up your leg, I'm barefooted again today because I'm kind of lacking that, you know, it's good for your feet, up, here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, good job, now we're going to do a standing star, a standing star, I'm in the kind of a, a jumping jack position, but we call it like the X position because you're extremely awesome. And we're just going to come down, soften the knees, and touch your toe, right? This is alternating toe touch. Standing stars, you actually kick up like that. So we're going to alternating toe touch. Here we go. One. Some things are very similar. Two. Three. Four. You could do this from a chair. Five. To say how would you do that six you just lean over and mimic what i'm doing but seated in a chair yeah a couple more one more nice now we are going to do that standing star where you come way over like that okay two three four five six seven eight nine ten if it feels hard to hold your arms up a long time I'm glad you're here because you need stronger shoulders. Okay, roll those around. Last thing, we're going to do a happy goofy jack or any combo you want. Here we go. So what that means is you pick the leg up again, right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
five, six, seven. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. And yes. Okay, good. That was good. All right. Hope you're smiling. Hope you're feeling a little like your temperature came up. That's very important. Blood flowing to the brain, to the body. And we are going to start with 10 push-ups. So right now, you can be moving towards the kitchen or maybe you have the camera in the kitchen. Real quick, make sure you have water that you're gonna drink. I have two one gallon uh, containers and I have two of the cans of beans. But today you also need something that doesn't stretch like a belt. You could use a towel for, uh, if we get to it, it's towards the end of the workout. Okay, here we go, 10 push-ups. So how are you gonna do them? All right, so we're gonna, let me show you the three things we're gonna do real quick. So if we do 10 push-ups, if I'm um, in a chair and I, and I don't really want to do push-ups and I don't want to run off to the kitchen to do push-ups, then what I want you to do is do a lean back press. So you can see I'm leaned back in my chair and I'm pushing my chest out and I'm pressing nice and controlled like that, okay? Then I'm gonna follow that with a fly. And you, you could do this with cans, but your chest are large, uh, for your upper body, the chest is a large muscle group. So you do wanna use weight that challenge you. challenges you, yes. So now I'm like this, and I did the presses, I'm gonna hold them up, and I'm gonna come back up and down, letting it down, and then back up like this, okay? So this is called a chest fly. Right, and you just want to feel that tug. I need you to be very cautious if you have shoulder issues with that. I prefer those on the ground. And um, let me let me talk about this. So if you're in the chair, ten lean back presses, and then what I have down, I have a note to myself because I don't really like the fly in an inclined position. Um, that's what we're going to do on the ground in a, in a prone position, right? So instead of doing that fly, if you feel like you have to be in the chair with the weights, I want you to take a ball or a pillow. I love this ball. And you're going to press it, right? You can even do just your hands. You're just going to, while I'm doing the flies on the ground, pay attention here, you're going to press your hands as hard as you can together. Or you could have a ball like this one, the love emoticon. I love you. Or you could grab a pillow right, like this and squeeze it. You want a pillow that you can't get the stuffing, like you don't want your hands. So that gives you some resistance, okay? So it's the, the gallon press, then you would do the pillow press or squeeze. And then in your chair, if you're in the chair, you're choosing the chair, because I, I really pride myself on making sure everybody has something to do that they can feel successful. So in the chair, you're gonna do what's called a cross crawl, where you pick up a leg and you twist your elbow towards it, right? Just like that. Okay, so that's the chair part. That If you're gonna do the chair, that's what you can do. All right, the only substitute there was if you don't wanna do the gallon presses, you can do the incline, you know, countertop push-ups. Okay, so everybody else who's not with the chair, watch what I'm doing on the ground, okay? Very important. Okay, so I'm gonna have my two gallons nearby. Okay, set them out, and I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. So a, a push-up is a moving plank, and you do a push-up. So we would do 10 of those. Then we're gonna flip over. We're gonna grab our gallons. If you have weights available, you could use, you know, eights, tens, twelves, fives if the gallons are too heavy. But if they're too light, you want them to be heavier. So I've got the gallons up. I'm gonna come out like this and back up. That is called a chest fly. And we have to do these very slowly. And the reason that I changed my mind or re realized I don't want you to do those in a chair because when you're at that angle, those muscles are too small. Um, and that's not really a good exercise from that position. Then, the third, the third thing is the bicycle. So we're here and we're gonna crunch, do bicycle crunches. If you feel that in your back, I want you to just keep your feet down 
and you can do a twisting crunch like that. Okay, or you can march the bicycle. Okay, and you know, one of the differences between my co videos and maybe just a workout video you find online is that I'm going to explain to you what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how to do it safely and give you alternatives. So you're not stuck wishing you could do something. This way you have alternatives. All you have to do, listen, is everybody ready? Okay, good. All right, so here we go. We're going to start this workout. And we're going to start with 10 push-ups. You may have been doing a few reps as I showed them. Remember, you're in the chair with the gallons or you're in a push-up position. You're going to do 10 push-ups. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Modify if you have to. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So if you say you get the four or five and you start to struggle in a regular push-up, just go ahead and modify. Put your knees down. All right, so now my gallons are up and I'm going to let them open. So if you can see what I'm doing here, let them open and slowly bring them back. That's one. Yep. And Two, part of my challenge is that we've been going for a while now and I have the same equipment. So we have to get creative on how we keep stimulating the muscles and progressing. Because if you've been doing all my workouts, you need more weight, I guarantee it. So I'm in the same boat, so we're going to keep challenging ourselves with supersets and compound movements. So we're still flying. I'm moving them together. This is number five. I open them up nice and slowly, slowly. Feeling the tug in my chest muscles. Six. Feeling the tug, doing great. All right, control the weight. Don't throw the weight around, control. Seven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, eight, almost there, nice and slow. When you move weights quickly, you're using leverage and not always using as much muscle as you could as when you move them slowly. One more, here we go, come on, come on. That's 10, good job. Okay, so we're down here on the ground. We're gonna do that bicycle. Okay, so here we go, 20 of these. One, two, three, four, squeezing, five, six, squeeze those abs, seven, eight, nine, squeeze them harder, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Okay, no break, roll right over into the push-up position. I'm gonna get up for the people that are using the chair, and I'm gonna do this round, okay? So you're on the, on the ground if you're fit enough to do those military style or modified push-ups. I'm gonna press, here we go, no break, ready, go. One, two, you could do this with cans if the gallons are too heavy. Three, four, five, Six, keep it slow. Seven, get those push-ups done, let's go. Squeeze that belly. Eight, nine, 10. Very nice, very nice. So if you're on the ground, you're gonna do your chest fly. On the chair, we're gonna grab a pillow or a ball or just our hands and we're squeezing them. So everybody start doing the flies. I'm gonna squeeze, I'll do the count. One, nice and slow. So I'm squeezing really hard and pausing. Here we go. Two. Keep going. Three. So I'm really trying to crush this ball. Four. Do it again. Five. Don't be nice to the pillow. Squeeze it. 
six. By working out, you are being very nice to yourself. Seven. Come on. Eight. Concentrate on your flies. Keep your chest out. Nine. One more. Ten. Very good. I could really feel that. I almost, I'm obviously putting more pressure on that ball than the, the pounds of gallons, right? The eight pounds each. I can feel that ball more, so think about that. Everything's legitimate, done safely. Okay, no break. We're going to, if you're in the chair, we're going to cross crawl like this. Okay, if you're on the ground, you're doing your bicycle crunches. Here we go. Don't rush. One, squeezing the abs. Two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze those abs. Seven, eight. See if you can squeeze them and still breathe. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's get this week started. 20. Okay, no break. We're going right to the push-ups or the lean back presses. I'm going to the push-ups, 10 push-ups. Concentrate, form, create the results, keep you safe, good form. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, do the best you can. Six, concentrate. Seven, eight, oh yeah. Nine, one more. Ten, very, very good. It's okay if you're doing regular push ups and then you have to modify to your knees. That's totally fine. Okay, now you're either doing the ball squeeze or you're doing the flies, the chest flies. Here we go. Open them up. Squeeze or bring them up as hard as you can. One, two, three. Isometrics work, by the way. They're very important to stimulate your body. You can do them anywhere. You don't need any equipment. Four, so with your brain right now, you're pushing your chest out and concentrating on the muscles. Five. Don't daydream. Six. You can do that later. Seven. Oh yeah, come on. Eight. Nine. One more, don't rush it. Squeeze that ball or that pillow or squeeze your hands together even harder. Right now it's the last rep. Number 10, squeezing. And with control, set those gallons down. Good job, okay. So you're doing cross crawl on the chair or you're on the ground doing bicycles. So I'm gonna press my back flat, keep it there, right, the whole time in a bicycle. And here I go, one, let's do this, two, Three, four, don't rush. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to twenty. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Don't pull in your neck. Sixteen, squeeze your abs. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That was awesome. So that was three rounds. Boom. Knocked it out. Now we get water. Okay. So get some water. <clears throat> and we'll be using a chair, so make sure you have one. Water, 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 water. Get some water break. Welcome to H2O. So I was 
was researching what it's like to drink a gallon of water a day. It seems the, the biggest benefit, and you shouldn't necessarily drink a gallon if you haven't been drinking much water. You have to work up to drinking a lot of water because remember, anything you change in your life, you've got to get the body in shape to be able to handle it. So you don't want to go from not walking to running a marathon. So if you've only been drinking two, three glasses of water and you try to drink a gallon, it could have some negative impacts. So you want to build up. So I do want to drink a, the experiment because I really want to do it for skin quality seems the big the biggest benefit of drink of making sure you're on point with your water for ever how's that um, <laughs> and uh, the other side effect of it is almost everyone that's done it where they they're on point with a gallon of water is they uh, tend to burn off fat without changing anything else which is really interesting which is really probably not fat it's water weight which you don't need that hanging around anyway okay here we go the second round, chair dips, shoulder raises, and tricep kickbacks, okay? So, chair dips, so we do need a chair. Everybody needs a strong, sturdy chair, All right? So, chair dip, like that, straight legs harder. If you don't feel confident, like you can't come down and up, then you're going to just bring your butt off and hold it for the 10 count. And then a shoulder raise, you can be standing or in the chair. This is just, this is a standard shoulder raise like that. And we're working shoulders because for chest and triceps, you're gonna get stronger in your chest when your shoulders are strong. Now I'm pretty strong in my shoulders, even though I am recovered from two serious injuries. I've been working hard. So a shoulder raise with eight, gallon, eight pounds in each hand like that. And then we follow that with side planks, which we I'll show them when we get there. Oh, but remember the kickbacks. So kickbacks, favorite tricep exercise, hinge, bring the elbows high, kick them back. All right, everybody ready? Let's do this. Chair dips, 10 of those. Take a deep breath. Say these three powerful words. I am strong. Yes. And here we go. One. Two, don't rush. Three, but do punch up fast. Four, lower slow, up fast. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can stay seated or standing. You have your weights, and we're going to bring them up like a cross. One, one to ten. Two, three, four, I'm really happy with that, five, shoulders getting stronger, six, hopefully you've noticed some really big differences in your life, seven, if you haven't, make sure you do two to three of these a week, eight, and you will notice, nine, one more, and 10. Okay, so now we're going to do tricep kickbacks. You can do them um, where you lean forward and kick back like this. I'm going to stand, hinge forward, elbows up high, 10 kickbacks. Number one tricep exercise. Ready, go. One, two. Make sure your shoulders are not in your ears. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Excellent, excellent. I really can tell that I've gotten a lot stronger with those. And make sure you keep your shoulders down away from your ears and your shoulder blades together. And you get a lot of added benefit when you kick those back. Okay, no break. We're going right to the chair dips. Hope everybody has a nice, strong, sturdy chair in their house. Very good fitness equipment. Legs are straight for most difficulty or bent, or just hold yourself off and don't do the dip. Okay, here we go. Ten of these. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, 
concentrate. Five, slow down, fast up. Six, seven, eight, keep your chest out. Nine, all the way up every time. Ten, don't cheat the last rep. A lot of people lose focus on the last rep and that's the rep you could get hurt. I don't want that to happen. I can't see you, I can't correct you. I can just encourage you to do it correctly. So make sure you listen to me. Okay, shoulder raise, side raise of the shoulder. I'm gonna stay seated, standing, seated tall, standing tall, whichever one you wanna do. Chest out, ready, go. One. Two. Now I've noticed with the gallons, I'm pointing my thumbs up towards the ceiling. Three, but with dumbbells, I might do it a little different. Four, concentrate, abs are tight. Five, I'm not holding my breath. Six, seven, eight, I'm letting them down as slow as I can. Nine, one more, and 10, excellent. Okay, all right, kickbacks. And of course, I left out the little ab thing, but it's coming now. Kickbacks are next, okay? So hinging, elbows are up, and kick it back. One, two, three, see I get rushing, don't rush. Four, five, Squeeze them back, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Okay, we're gonna add something in right here, give those triceps a better recovery. We did these in one of the other workouts, and that's the thing, if you go back to co-video one, if you're new and you just work forward, you uh, don't repeat workouts, you may repeat exercises and you learn and you get better at them. Okay, so I have a chair. You, if you're strong in plank, you're gonna do this on the ground. I'm gonna put my arm down in the chair on my elbow and I'm gonna stack my legs and I'm doing a side plank. If, if you say, I cannot do that, you could also put a hand in a solid chair and then try to do the side plank that way. That would be easier. Okay, we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds, everyone. Here we go. So holding side plank. And I'm coming back to this because I had some people contact me that they're really struggling with achy lower back or with the ability to hold this position, which just means you gotta do more. And you gotta really concentrate. You gotta think tough. We got five more seconds. All right, get up carefully. We're gonna to switch to the other arm. Put it down, you, all, you know, you always might need a cushion or something on your arm. I'm fine without it. I'm stacking my legs, right? Raising my arm, holding 20 seconds. Shoulders are out of my ears, head's neutral. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and my abs. 10 more seconds. This is not even good for you if you don't squeeze your abs, and it's better for you if you squeeze your abs and your butt muscles. Hold it, hold it, and relax. Good job, good job. Okay, that was second round. So now we're doing our third round. This workout's gonna go by fast. All right, a good workout has a lot of education, instruction, motivation, let's do it. I love you. Thank you for being here. Oh my God. Co-video 36. Woo, baby. All right, chair dips. Very good for your shoulders, especially your triceps and your lower chest. Ready, go. One, two, straighten those legs if you need to. Three, just hold if you have to. Four, five, six, seven, don't use your legs, eight, Nine, one more, finish it out. 10, good job, excellent. Okay, tricep kickbacks, take a deep breath. I'm strong, yes, I'm strong. Okay, getting those elbows high, shoulders out of your ears, I'm in a good hinge position. Ready, go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, super setting it in, come on, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. And of course, if y'all are getting near me, I know you're going, oh, the shoulder raise, that's right, so we're going to do that right now. Woo, that's what I get for not looking at my notes. But it's all good. It's a science, but it's not an exact science. Changing it up is good. All right, here we go. I'm seated. You can be standing. You can use the cans or the gallons. Or if you have weights, what you feel is appropriately challenging for the shoulder raise. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, very good. Keep going. Six, you could do this empty hand if you had to. Seven, because any movement's better than no movement. Eight, it's good for your brain and your spirits. Nine, lift your spirit. Ten, excellent. Okay, we've got our side planks on the chair or on the floor. I'm gonna do it in the chair with the one hand because I really want people that don't feel confident to be able to do it at home. But I've got a strong chair. I lock my arm, which uses my tricep. And I'm gonna lean into that arm, making sure my shoulder and my head are over my hand. I don't wanna be out here like this. This is wrong. This is correct. Okay, here we go. We're holding side plank. 20 seconds. Straight arm in it. So I might feel all the weight in my arm, or I might Feel it above my hip, which is the muscle we're working, the hip that's towards the floor. A few more seconds. Squeezing your abs as tight as you can and switching sides. So I'm demonstrating, talking about three choices, straight arm on the elbow, on the floor, on the elbow. You could also do straight arm on the floor, but if you're going to the floor, I'd get on the elbow. Okay, here we go. I'm doing straight arm. 20 seconds, make sure your shoulder's over your wrist, over your hand, here we go, 20 seconds, lock it in, pull that belly button in, pull it in, pull it in, keep going, oh yeah, you just got a few more seconds, lock that arm, pull in the belly button, I can feel it right over the hip, I can feel the muscle right over the hip, towards the floor, and relax. Good. That was three rounds. Awesome. You are awesome. Okay, sip of water. Third round, final round. Mm. Mm. Okay, so chest and triceps, what we're going to do is we're going to go through what you just learned all in one super circuit, okay? So just stay with me and listen to what I'm cueing, okay? So we're gonna start with push-ups. And what I want you to do is if you're doing the lean back presses, get ready right now. Everybody take a deep breath. Just stay with me as I move. It's called like a flow. We're gonna chain everything together, all right? So the first thing is 10 push-ups. Okay, and then be ready to go to the pillow squeeze next or the flies. All right, here we go. 10 push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Modify if you have to. Nine, keep pressing those jugs. 10. Okay, now you're going to do the pillow squeeze if you're on the chair, or if you're on the floor, you're going to do the fly, whichever you want. Quickly, get ready, and go. One, two, three, concentrate on what you're doing. Two, three, keep going. Four, don't rush this movement. Five, six, 
five. You've been doing this a while with me. You should feel the power. Six, if you have shoulder pain, you need to be squeezing the pillow or the ball. Seven, stick your chest out. Keep moving, keep going. Eight, hashtag keep going. Two more. Nine. One more. Ten. Perfect. Okay. I'm not going to chain the abs yet. It's just for the tricep and chest. So the next one is in the chair. You're going to do the chair dips. We're only doing ten. Concentrate. Say these three words. I am strong. I am strong. All right. Here we go. Ten dips. Right to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Excellent. Okay, get the weights. Pick the weights up. You can do it with cans or with the gallons. We're doing the tricep kickbacks. This is called a giant set when we link everything together. Hinging. Get those elbows high. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, you got this, ten. Okay, no matter who you are, everybody, I want you to pick up the weights to do the shoulder raise, right? So you either got the, uh, the cans or you've got the weights, the gallons. Ready, go. One, two, three, oh yeah, control it on the way down. Four, five, six, strong shoulders, very important. Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Excellent, okay. So if you're in the chair, you're gonna do the cross crawl like these, or if you've been on the ground, you're gonna do your bicycle crunches. Ready, no break, let's go, concentrate. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, squeeze your abs, 16, squeeze them, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent, now everyone's gonna do side plank. So you're either on the ground on elbow plank. I'm gonna do elbow in the chair. 20 second hold, pulling the belly in, tightening the glutes, raise the arm, 20 seconds. Your heart rate might be up right now, it's okay, just breathe. Pull that arm back, concentrate on what you're doing, stay in the moment, 10 seconds. Oh yeah, holding, holding. Safely get out of that position. Switch to the other side. I'm putting the elbow in the chair. You could straight arm it. Belly's tight, glutes are tight, arm is up and back. 20 seconds. Holding, holding, holding. This is it, come on, you can do it. You can do it. A little more and relax. Yes. That was very, very good. I got great news for you. We only have to do that one more time and the workout's over. If you're like, yeah, or you're like, no, or you're like, yes. Okay, everybody's different. Some people are like, I love this, bring it. Some people are like, oh my God, I'll be glad when this is over. One of the best things about exercise is you don't have to like it for it to work, okay? I love that part of my job. Okay, so here we go. This is it. Just stay with me. Know what you're doing. So you're either doing the presses, jug presses, the gallon jug presses, and the pillow squeeze, or you're doing the push-ups, 
and the flies. Okay, you ready? Stay with me. Here we go. 10 presses or push-ups. Ready, and go. One, two, three, don't rush, four, I gotta remind myself that, five, six, use a lot more muscle if you can slow it down, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, get ready to squeeze that pillow if that's what you're doing, or you're doing your flies. No break, ready, go. Slowly open up the fly. Slowly squeeze that pillow or ball. One. I want you to squeeze the pillow if you're doing that as hard as you can. Two. Get on. Three. Keep going. Four. Five. Keep moving, concentrate on what you're doing. Six, keep your chest out. Do not relax your chest. You can actually do a lot of this without any weight if you learn to flex your muscles really hard. Eight. Nine. It's okay if I add one in, you know. Come on, come on, one more, one more. Squeeze that chest, squeeze. 10, good, set it down, oh yeah, we're doing great, okay, on the chair, chair dips, no break, take a deep breath, of course, when I say no break, you could just defy me and push that pause button if it's not live, if it's a recording, and push the pause, but right now it's live, let's go, here we go, 10, 1, chair dips, 2, 3, 4, Five. Oh yeah. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Awesome. Yes. Okay, we're going to the kickbacks. Okay. I'm doing it from a standing hinge position. Hinging forward. Chest is out. Knees are soft. Elbows are high. Shoulders are out of my ears. Ready to go. One. Two, three, four, five, come on, six, this is the push set, seven, it's where you absolutely do your best, eight, don't back down, nine, don't back down, success is all right here, ten, good, okay, now you got those same weights or the cans, we're doing shoulder side raises, either seated or standing. Take a deep breath. I'm strong. Ready, come on Mary, let's do this. One, two, three, oh yeah, four, give it your best, five. Don't ever stop, if you have to stop, just set the waist down and keep going. Six, every movement counts, eight, Nine. One more. Come on. Ten. Excellent. Okay. So, last two things. You're either doing the cross crawl on the chair or the bicycles on the floor. I'm going to jump down on the floor. Okay. Don't rush. One, two, three. Squeeze those abs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, squeeze those abs, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, we got this, 19, 20, very good. All right, we're gonna finish with the side planks, round third plate, making a home run, the winning home run. Side plank, elbow on the chair for me, elbow on the floor for you maybe, or straight arm it. Holding, 20 second hold. Oh yeah, just hold it, concentrate. Chest out, belly in, tighten your glutes. Little more, little more. And relax, 
Switching to the other side, I really like that right now. I can really feel that down my ribs, down the side, just above my hip, right where I'm supposed to. All right, up, stacking the legs, 20 seconds. This is it, holding, holding. 10 seconds to the end of this awesome workout. Keep going. Five more seconds. Holding it, squeezing the belly, and you are done. The crowd goes crazy. Yes, yes, I'm done. I worked out again. Yes, you really gotta learn to celebrate your successes. Don't, and I don't care what they are. I drank eight glasses of water. You should be like, yes, yes, yes. Don't be like, yeah, I drank eight glasses of water. I've been trying to do that for months. Finally did it, yeah. No, be like uber enthusiastic. Oh, I am so glad you joined me for this Monday. You don't even know. You don't even know how awesome you are for doing that. Okay, so we've got to cool down. You got to warm up, helps prevent injury. Cool down, prevents you from getting so sore you don't want to ever work out again. Hopefully, that's the goal. All right, so we're going to stretch right here, right here. Oh, you did good. I hope you feel that. Please, in the comments, tell me if you liked it, if you pushed through. Like you thought you couldn't do the ninth rep or the 10th rep and you pushed and you did. Tell me your successes. Celebrate your successes today. Everybody, no matter what's going on in the world, there is some huge success. There's people recovering from very serious illness right now. There's, there's beneficial changes in policies happening right now. We need to celebrate what you feel is successful in your world. All right. Switch to the other side. The dog has just come out to remind me that this is a, a cool down. Hey, how are you doing? All right, if you're watching this in like 2046, how are you? Find me, see if I'm still out there working out somewhere. <laughs> 2046, wow, that'd be, that's a long time, 26, 26 years from now. Okay, so look, put your hands together, lace them together. I like to think about time travel. Because, you know, my father was born in 19, 28 he's still alive he was born before phones and cars and computers and and being on the moon and so he he literally has time traveled it's really exciting I'm always excited about what wonderful things are gonna happen day to day like a walk that's gonna happen it's very exciting oh that feels good okay put your hands here and now bring them out real wide and I want you to turn your hands like this just turn and kind of kind of relax everything okay you are pulling them like somebody's pulling you by the arms. Okay, good, good. Now with that idea in mind, just turn and relax your knees and your feet. I'm actually twisting my feet up on my toe. And I can feel a lot of, um, they call it the pump in my chest and my triceps. So we're just trying to move that, that blood a little bit, get, not, not let it pull. That's literally what we're attempting to do is not let the blood pull. So it is actually a really good idea to do walk and cardio as daily thing. It helps circulate your blood. Your bare minimum for cardiovascular health is 20 minutes four times a week. If you're not doing that, you really need to do that. Um, if you want to really do it in a way that impacts your health in a dramatic way, your bare minimum would be 30 minutes four to five times a week. If you have significant fat to burn, you really want to get that fat off your body, the fat that's excess fat is you really have to consider at least two, if not four or more, depending on how much you have to burn off, 45 to 60 minutes. And here's the key, most people work too hard. Once you hit that 20 minute mark, you wanna work at what's called a 70 to 75%, 70, 75% target heart rate, and we call it boring. You don't feel like you're working that hard. You will burn, you will max your fat burn if you're at that, that easier, it'll feel easier. You're not huffy puffy, you can breathe easy so um, you can watch a video on my youtube channel called steady state versus hit to explain that better and now we're going to breathe together you ready take a big inhale in <sighs> and just drop those shoulders make a nice loving i'm alive sound here we go <sighs> one more one more here we go <sighs> thank you so much for joining me keep coming back keep taking loving good care of yourself and i'll see you in a couple days with the next workout I love you.